Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to add a stack navigator to your app. So basically how you can navigate between different screens in React Native. Um, this is for Expo, um, the install process that I'm showing you. Um, but you can do a very similar install process if you've got a bare React Native app and the code will still be the same. So once you've set up your project, you want to you want to install a few dependencies so this is what you will install i'll link the documentation for what to install just in case you're using a bare workflow because then you're going to need to do something slightly different um, like installing some pods for um, coca pods for ios So first off, I'm just going to create a new folder for my different screens that I'm going to have. And I'm going to create a home screen file and I'm just going to copy the contents of the app.js into that home screen file for now. And just change it to home screen. My app.js is where I'm going to do all my navigation setup. So I'll clear out all the stuff I don't need and import the um, packages relating to uh, navigation and also my home screen component, that is what I'm going to want to display. I'm going to make all this code available on GitHub, so you can check that out um, at any time and have a play with it and alter it to suit whatever purposes you have. So, um, first off you want to create your stack, which is and a stack is basically like the stack um, data structure is very similar. You'll push to the stack and that will, if you pop, then you'll go back to the um, to the most recently pushed screen. So that's a um, stack which is first in, last out, or last in, first out. So that's the sort of properties of a stack and I guess that's why it's called a stack. So inside your stack navigator, you're going to have a few different screens you'll set up some name which is basically the um, what you'll use when you want to push to this to that particular component you'll have a component which is what you want to display when you um, specify that you want to go to the particular named screen and you can have some options this is optional but you can give a title for the header bar you can set up some buttons some style configs, you can set whether you want to hide the header. You can do a number of things and I'll link to some documentation for that below and probably explore that a bit more in further um, videos. So I'm just creating my second screen now while my um, app builds And you can see because I've just got this home screen going, it doesn't have any buttons to move to other screens. So I'm going to want to enable some, when I press on my button, it'll navigate to my second screen, which I've just added. You'll want to pass in this... Um, navigation um, to your functional component and that's just so that you can do your navigation through that um, so you can do navigation.navigate or navigation.push will achieve a similar result and I'll show you some other ways you can do it later so you can replace the path and also pop so this time I'm passing some parameters because I think it's really useful to be able to pass data between different screens and so that's how you can do it with some parameters on your route. So now I've got my two um, buttons, one's going to navigate with language French and the other with English and here I am setting up my um, screen inside the stack navigator so that I can navigate to it. I'll import that second screen that I've just created so that it knows what component to display. And I'm not going to give it any options here, it'll just default. 
So I've clicked and it goes through, but I haven't set up anything to use the parameters now. Parameters, so now I'm going to go ahead and do that. So basically when you pass parameters, it will be set against the route. So route.params will be an object and all your different properties that you've passed through will be there. So I've passed language. I want to check if that language is French and if it is, I want to display bonjour. Otherwise I want to show hello. It's just showing how I could pass different data to screens. So I'll put this greeting in here. And refresh so when I navigate to the second group oh, okay so what I need to do is I need to make sure that my navigation and route variables are available to my second screen so here I am doing that and when I refresh and click I should see bonjour so I do see that if I click on the second one because it's navigating with English it should say hello Okay, so it's saying bonjour. I suspect I probably forgot to update that value because I copy and pasted. Yeah, so if I update that to English and go back, then I should see hello when I click on this. So you can see that the actual values are being passed through and that's why it's showing different text on screen. Cool, now that I've got that going, I'm wanting to create a third screen and this third screen is basically just so I can so I can show you replacement and different ways of popping. So I'm not going to need the route because I'm not going to have any params here. It's going to be a very basic screen. It's going to say third. And I want to show you that you can pass some options to the header. So I want to hide the header in this one. So back in my second screen, I'm adding a button that will allow me to navigate to the um, third screen. I'm going to want two buttons here. So the first is just going to be going to third screen. And basically all this one's going to do is just navigate to the third screen. So I'm going to use navigation.push, which effectively is the same as navigation.navigate. So I've passed the path that I want to navigate to, which is the third screen. And now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to show you how to um, replace um, the path, current path on the stack, so the second screen, with the third. So that basically means if I were to go to the third screen and pop, I'd actually not go back to the second screen, but the screen prior to the second screen, because the second screen has been replaced on the stack with the third screen. So how you do that is you go navigation.dispatch and then you're going to use a stack action to do a replace. And then you're going to put the destination that you want. So I want to go to the third screen so I've specify the third screen. So now I'm going to want to go back to my app.js. Oh wait. Yep. Go back to my app.js and I'm going to want to add my third screen, which will be the one that I've just created. I'll see, specify the name as third because that's how I'm going to navigate to it this components third screen, and then I want to pass in an option to not show the header. I'll give you some links that will give you more information on different options you can pass. You can also do things like styling the header and adding buttons to the header. 
I just want to show you that if you don't have a header you can still sort of go backwards but you just use the pop and the pop to root commands if you wanted to go all the way back to the root. So if I go to the third screen then you can see that I'm at the third screen and here I'm going to add a couple of buttons. The first will be a pop Sorry, I'll do a pop to root first. Basically what pop to root does is it pops to the first um, item on the stack. So basically it'll pop to the home screen this time. Um, and it's you do navigation.pop to top to do that. Basically it'll pop everything off the stack until it gets to the final item in the stack. And I've also added a pop which will pop to the previous screen on the stack so because I clicked just a normal go to third screen a pop will take me back to the second screen but if I go to third screen re replace it will, the third screen will re replace the second screen on the stack so if I pop it will actually go back to my home screen instead of the second screen so now if I click go to third screen a normal pop would take me back to the second screen, but if I show you pop to root, it will once again take me back to my home screen um, because I'm popping all the way to the root. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today and let me know what other things you'd like to see in terms of navigation. Um, if you've enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe for more.